What first brought me to Manuel Neri's work is, uh, you know, in a previous position, I had uh, a lot of interaction with artwork and a lot of time to research artwork, uh, specifically artwork that was uh, really foundational shifting or uh, important artwork. And I came upon Manuel Neri's work uh, during some of that research some years back. And Manuel Neri was one of these figures that, you know, he started off in two-dimensional as a painter, and uh, then he met some artists that I was very familiar with uh, who were sculpture artists, ceramicists, and he kind of shifted and moved into uh, the world of 3D uh, artwork, and uh, perhaps which he is most noted for, and uh, I was intrigued by that. I was also intrigued by the nature of the work itself. It really harkens back to uh, something that you might see in a temple or, or like Pompeii or something like that, something that very old, almost unfinished. And I was very drawn to that aspect of the artwork, so I, I did some research on Manuel Neri and found out that, in fact, uh, we, were, we were very close. Uh, he was a good friend of June Caneco or is a good friend of June Caneco's. And uh, some of Manuel Neri's artwork was actually completed in Omaha, Nebraska. I, I, I think that anytime you consider an artist's work, uh, you also have to, to consider their background of sorts. And so I like to consider the transformational nature of, of Neri's work uh, in light of his own background. You know, he, he, he was a guy who served in the military, Mexican descent. Um, came from a, a machismo type background, uh, Mexican immigrant uh, parents. Uh, also had five wives. Uh, perhaps the most consistent woman in his life was Mary Julia, uh, Mary Julia Clemenko, who for 40 years served as his near soul, uh, you know, soul model for his work. So you have to consider uh, Neri's body of work, I think, in that light. Uh, and, and when you consider this work and how it transformed things, it really, you know, you hearken back to, to as I said, those, those uh, older, very kind of old techniques and, and almost raw and unfinished. And at that point in time uh, in the art world, you weren't seeing much of that, you know, that kind of fusion of the old and the new. And, and I think Neri's work uh, actually made some, some deep steps to, to do that. Uh, you know, his, some of his pieces feel like uh, the images are almost being born, kind of stepping out of the clay, so to speak, and they have a, a real vibrancy to them. Uh, there's at times people look at the, at the, the uh, three-dimensional work and, and uh, I won't say that they're disturbed by it, but they, they see the, the strokes of the artist, of the sculptor on those, and, and they, they may think, wow, this, this guy has a little bit of uh, perhaps misogynistic tendencies. If there is nothing there present when we encounter the artwork and we engage in the artwork, one would have to, would ask, have to question, is it actually artwork? And I think that clearly Neri's work evokes something in us. Um, so I would ask students to consider that when they approach the artwork. The other thing that I would ask them to consider is that background. We can't disguise who we are. Uh, it, it, it appears in the artwork, and that's, a, it, that's neither right, wrong, or indifferent, but it does bear examination and is worthy of examination, I think, and consideration. Uh, Neri's artwork also, I think, is, is good for our students to, to examine in the sense that you know, he, he took this journey as a young artist starting out with plaster because it was a, simply because it was a cheap medium. 
Uh, he could not afford to work in the medium that he wanted to, to work in, which was probably marble, to be honest. And um, it wasn't until much later in his career that he could do that, uh, decades later in his career that he could afford to do that. So he made do with what he could so that he could continue to create at a, a, fairly, a fairly, uh, a prolific uh, volume to perfect that, that art, to perfect that, perfect that craft. And I believe our students can learn from that. We use what we're given to create art.